Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Khalid Mahmood, your online trainer. If you are looking to improve your AutoCAD skill, you are in the right place. Today, we will create exercise 41 step by step, making it easy for beginners and intermediate user for follow along. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding of line command, angles and dimension in AutoCAD. So don't forget to download the PDF file from the description box and practice further. So let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the workspace, open your AutoCAD and set the unit to millimeter. So you can type UN, press enter, select as a millimeter, precision 0.0, .0 press OK. Now step 2. Drawing the basic shape. As you see in this drawing, this one our basic shape. We need to start from here and go from this one just like. And you can start from this point. I prefer start from here. So start from any point and draw a 14 mm horizontal line toward the left. So use line command using L enter click on first point and type 14 press enter now need to create next line this one line will be 9 and angle will be 125 so just put as a 9 press tab and put a angle value 125 now as same as you can create this line just using line command so you can you can activate both line using MI for mirror command. Click on this first point and click on left side and press as a no. So you can see this line and this line are created. So you can check using DLI for dimension linear command. Press enter two times. Check here as a 14. DAN for dimension angular command for this one as a angle 125 DAN for dimension angular command check this angle as a 125 you can check measurement of this line DAL for dimension align press enter and check this one now you see you are complete this part this next we need to create this part so you can create this one and mirror this one very easily so need to activate line using L for line command click on this point so need to find angle value of this line so just create a line from here and here so this value 90 and also this one is 90 and also this one is 90 so total value is 155 so need to calculate using calculator command cal for calculator so now this one total value 155 so just here 155 minus 180 press enter so we have a value here as a 25 so need to understand the angle of this line will be minus 25. So just close this one. Type as a 9. Line distance angle will be minus 25. Press enter. Now need to check DAN for dimension angular command. Click this line to this line. You have a angle value as a 155 now need to create this line as a straight 9 so just activate line command and from here to straight as a 9 press enter now as same as we need to create this line so very carefully create a line from here to here straight line okay now total angle it will be 180 from here and remaining angle 150 
and total angle will be 180. So need to subtract 180 minus 150. So we have a value of angle it will be 30. So using L for line command click here and put a value of line as a 8 press tab and put a value of angle will be 30 press enter. Now check D A L for dimension align this one and also this one and also this one. Now need to check angle D A N for dimension angular command select this line to this line. Now we need to create this angle. So now next we need to create this line as an angle 90. So first we need to understand create a line just like and this one. Okay. So if here angle will be 30. So this angle will be 60. So this one is 60. So we have this angle will be 30. So we have a 30 and 60. So we have this angle it will be 30. So we need to create this angle. So we have this one already 90, this one 30 and this one 60. So we need to add 90 plus 30 is equal to 120. So now use activate line command using L enter. Click on this point and put our value of line as a 9 using tab for angle 120 press enter. Now need to verify this angle will actual 90 or not. D A N for dimension angular command select this line to this line and just click here and check this angle will be 90. So now need to create this line. So just select this line and type M I for mirror command and select this one to this one. Just press enter. Select this line and this line. Now using M I for mirror command, click on this point to this point. Choose as a node. Now need to add this line from here to here. Also you can check dimension very properly. Use D L I for dimension linear command and click here. Also need to verify all the dimension. You can use polar tracking to easily draw at a specific angle. Okay. Now step. Now step 3. Adding the dimensions. So now D A L for dimension align command. Add this dimension. Also this one. And also this one. Okay. Now need to verify this angle using D A N for dimension angular command. Select this one to this one and check it here 120. Now need to check this angle D A N for dimension angular command. Select this line and this line and check here. Okay. Now step 4. Finalize the drawing. Check dimension very properly. Match the angle with the given value. Make sure all lines are connected very properly. Okay. So now select this line and this line. Go to properties and change the line thickness as a 0 0.30. Now also need to add dimension here. DAL for dimension align and put it here. So great job. You have completed this exercise 41 very properly. So like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to learn more, join our YouTube channel to exclusive AutoCAD tutorials. And if you have any question, so drop a comment below. I have personally replied. See you in the next video. Keep practicing AutoCAD. Keep learning. Keep growing. Tata. Bye bye. Take care.